everyone. I am here at the Bible study. I hope you guys are having a good night. Tonight we are going to have a devotion by someone I don't recognize. And I don't think you guys will either. I think this is the first time we've heard from her. <clears throat> Excuse me. And her name is Suzanne Davenport Tychen. And we are in the book of Psalms today, Psalm 25. And the Bible verse that goes along with Susanna's devotion tonight is Psalm 25, verse 12, and it says, My question, what are God worshipers like? Your answer, arrows aimed at God's bullseye. All right, so let's stop that right there. And let me go read to you guys Psalm 25. Of David. Psalm 25 of David. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I trust, O my God. Do not let me be put to shame, nor let my enemies triumph over me. No one whose hope is in you will ever be put to shame. But they will be put to shame who are treacherous without excuse. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are my God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Remember, O Lord, your great mercy and love. For they are from of old. Remember not the sins of my youth and my rebellious ways. Weren't we all? I know I was. I was rebellious and wasn't perfect, I tell you that much. I'm sure we all hope God forgives our ways as was young. God knows, and he forgives us. According to your love, remember me, for you are good, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he instructs sinners in his ways. He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. All the ways of the Lord are loving and faithful for those who keep the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your name, O Lord, forgive my inequity, though it is great. Who then is the man that fears the Lord? He will instruct him in the way chosen for him. He will spend his days in prosperity, and his descendants will inherit the land. The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. My eyes are ever on the Lord, for only he will release my feet from the snare. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. The troubles of my heart have multiplied. Free me from my anguish. Look upon my affliction and my distress and take away my sins. See how my enemies have increased and how ferociously they hated me. Guard my life and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness protect me, because my hope is in you. Redeem Israel, all God, from all their troubles. And that was Psalm 25. All right, so now let me go to our devotion. Oh, and I got um, good news. Um, I checked my email and Guidepost actually got my order finally. And they are shipping the animal devotions. So I will have them to go along with the Bible studies here pretty soon, hopefully. Okay, so let's see what Susanna has to say in her devotion tonight. She says, When I was a teenager, 
I competed on a junior rifle team. Although I'm left-handed, I scored higher when I shot right-handed. When I tried archery recently, the instructor figured it out. I'm left-handed, but right-eyed. I'm more awkward wielding a long bow right-handed, but that's the only way I can hit the target. Whether I'm sending an arrow to the bullseye or flipping a crumpled up wad of paper into a wastebasket, I take aim so often I don't give it any thought. If I want a glass of water, I head to the kitchen, first target, turn toward the cupboard by the sink, second target, reach for the handle, third target to open it. Choose the glass I want, fourth target, to reach the faucet, fifth target, and finally line up the glass, sixth target, with the stream of water. You get the point. We take aim all day long. The direction of our gaze reveals our objective. Jesus looked up to heaven before he fed the 5,000 and when he raised Lazarus from the dead. Far from hiding it, he made his connection with God obvious. Jesus always lived like an arrow aimed at the Father's work with me. Or sorry, Jesus always lived like an arrow aimed at the Father's heart. And he told us to follow him. Jesus said, walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. Matthew eleven twenty nine. I want to look to Jesus, not around me or behind me, but with my gaze firmly fixed on him. By his grace, my aim will be straight and true. So will ours. Amen. And your homework for tonight is this. You may be used to bowing your head when you pray. When you pray today, try looking up. Jesus did this when he prayed. Does the direction of your gaze make a difference for you? Just like if I got the window open or if we're outside or something, I always look to the sky. Because that's, you know, where I see God when I'm outside, you know, in the, in the sky and all around, really. Higher than the heavens. All right, guys. So our next Bible study will be in the book of Galatians, Galatians chapter 3. So I will go get that set up. So I will go get that set up, and um, we're going to town tomorrow, and my aunt's bringing me some magazines, too. I'm not sure how many, but tomorrow I will have probably a circle of kindness for us to go along with the Bible study. So I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's Bible study. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible study. Bye, guys. Good night.